Hi, I'm Steve Good, and welcome to my Scroll Saw Workshop. I'm in my shop tonight to put together this video to talk about a subject that I am taking more and more serious as uh, as I get older, and that's controlling dust in the workshop. Uh, it really is a serious issue that everybody should pay attention to. Uh, not only does the dust make a mess in your shop, uh, but it also can cause some, some uh, health conditions that you really don't want to have to deal with. So much better to keep the dust under control up front and uh, keep it out of your lungs. So I put together a little system with my scroll saw uh, here this week that I wanted to share with you and show you what I've done. Here's a new addition to my shop. It's the shop back air cleaner. Uh, it's a two-stage filter system. It will turn over all the air in a two-car garage uh, in about 15 minutes. Um, I've used it for a full day now, and I've done quite a bit of cutting today, and I can honestly say that uh, this has made a major difference in the air quality. Uh, tomorrow I plan to empty my uh, um, dust collection bag, which really causes a lot of dust in the shop. And uh, I'll turn it on then and I'll probably put it over on top of my table saw uh, to get it out in the middle of the room. Uh, but I want to show you how I'm using this with the, with the scroll saw. And so let me move on to the next uh, thing that I'm going to show you tonight and then we'll come back and set it all up and give you a little demonstration. Here's the second stage of my dust control that I want to talk about tonight. And I have mounted a funnel underneath the scroll saw to collect as much of the dust as I possibly can coming out uh, through the bottom of the saw. I've got this uh, funnel connected to my shop vac which is over on the other side of the room and I purchased uh, a remote starter that uh, allows me when I'm sitting at the chair to start the vacuum up. So these are the two new pieces of hardware that I've added to my scroll saw and I'll show you one more little technique that we're going to talk about and then we'll do a demonstration of just seeing how much dust we can actually control. What I want to do in this first test is just see how much difference this little funnel that I've placed underneath the scroll saw does in keeping the underside of the scroll saw and the floor around it clean. So I've cleaned things up pretty well and uh, I'm going to take a piece of 3 quarter inch MDF just because it's about as dusty as anything you can cut and I'm going to cut for a few minutes with it until I make a little bit of dust and I'll show you a picture of how much dust is created. Then I will take another similar piece and over the same period of time with the dust collector underneath turned on uh, and we'll just see what kind of difference we get. So I won't uh, bore you too long. I'll get started here without the dust collection and then I'll turn the video off, come back and show you what kind of mess we made. Okay, I cut that three quarter inch MDF for five minutes, cut it into a couple pieces here, and I hope you can see I've made a pretty good mess on top of the table. Uh, my hands are totally covered in sawdust. Zoom in here just a little bit, give you a better look at the top of the table. And now what I'm going to do is go underneath the table and show you what it looks like. Here we are down underneath the scroll saw and you can see that five minutes of cutting produced a pretty considerable amount of, of dust. Uh, I don't know how well you can see this, uh, but we're talking a pretty substantial amount of dust. And because it was MDF, it's very fine dust, and dust that we'd be better off to uh, have in the shop vac than in our lungs. So now what I'm going to do, clean this mess completely up. We'll go back and do the exact same cut for the same period of time with all the shop uh, backs and uh, everything turned on. I'm ready to start the second half of the test now. I'm going to turn my air cleaner on. I'm going to turn my shop back on with the funnel underneath the saw. As you can see, I've got my air blower on my scroll saw pointing. I've got it pulled forward as far as I can and I've got the nozzle pointing back away from me. Uh, that's to help blow the dust the opposite direction rather than towards me. Also over my left hand shoulder I've got another fan that I'm going to blow air across my table and into my air cleaner. And uh, that's just to give myself as much uh, uh, 
dust away from me as I possibly can. So I'm going to do the same cut. I'm going to cut for five minutes, and uh, I'll get everything turned on here, and we'll start cutting. I'm going to turn on my air cleaner. I'm going to turn the fan on over my left hand shoulder, and with my remote control, I'm going to turn on my shop back. My shop back's over on the other side of the room, and I'm just trying to keep as much noise away from you as possible. Um, probably going to end up wearing uh, earphones uh, eventually when I do this cutting with, these, uh, with all this noise, but uh, for right now we'll get started like this. I finished my second five minute cut in this dust collection test and I'm showing you the top of the table here and you can see that we still have a pretty considerable amount of dust on the top of the table. Um, I will say this, um, I can generally feel the dust in the air and that I'm breathing it while I'm cutting and this is an extreme test because MDF uh, is about as dusty as anything you can cut. Uh, so even though I have a lot of dust here on top of the table, I could feel the dust was moving away from me. I never felt it in my eyes and I never felt like I was breathing it. So that's the top of the table. Now let's go look underneath and see how we did. Here we are and underneath the scroll saw table and I think you can see the difference. We're talking 90% plus of the dust has been captured by the funnel. Um, I would say this is definitely a positive test. Uh, we had a considerable amount of dust without the dust collector and much, much less dust with. Uh, so let me show you this little funnel and tell you a little bit about where I got it. Here's the funnel that I purchased from Woodcraft and if you go to the blog, uh, the blog post where I post this video, uh, I'll give you a link to this as well as the shop vac. And simple as this, it's a flexible hose with a couple different funnel attachments that come with the kit. I simply tie wrapped them to the front of the stand and to the front leg here. And this is just my shop vac, which again I have over on the other side of the room just to try to keep the noise down. And uh, when I get ready to scroll, all I have to do is come over here, hook the shop vac up, turn it on. And again, I'm using the remote control that I also purchased from Woodcraft and uh, I'll give you a link to that too. And then when I finish cutting, I can always pull this loose and clean off the top of the table too. Okay, I think these tests, uh, the pictures kind of speak for themselves. Uh, the top of the table is going to stay dirty. I don't know that there's any great way of uh, keeping the table clean, but the main thing that I wanted to do was keep the dust away from my face. And again, it would still be a good idea to wear a dust mask. Uh, I think the shop vac air cleaner did a really good job of keeping the air surrounding the scroll saw clean. Uh, it also gives me the ability to move it out into the center of the shop because it's portable. Um, really like it. $119 from Woodcraft. And again, I'll put the link on the blog. The funnel underneath the scroll saw is considerably uh, better at removing the dust down there than I anticipated. Um, at least 90%, if not 95% of the dust was removed and taken over to the other side of the shop into my shop vac. So I think that's a real positive result. So again, try to keep your, your shop as clean as you can. Uh, keep that dust out of your lungs and uh, you can put together a system like this also. Uh, the shop vac air cleaner uh, could be replaced with a box fan with a filter on it. I know a lot of guys have done that. Um, I don't think that's quite as efficient as this little shop vac, but if you don't have the money for, you know, to purchase this commercial one, uh, the box fan with a filter on the front of it is better than nothing. Um, the little funnel, very inexpensive, and again, I don't remember the price, but I'll give you the link to it. Absolutely worth the effort to try to hook one up to your saw, and um, the only downside that I see so far is the noise, and I think I'm just going to solve that by... Uh, wearing headphones while I cut. I'm Steve Good. Hope you've enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time here at the Scroll Saw Workshop.